Hello guys and welcome to another video. After Lepokim released the pattern and again delivered an excellent wheel, everybody was waiting for an update of the Sherman S. Veteran decides to surprise us and releases the Lynx, their new 20-inch electric unicycle. This is the first 151 volt electric unicycle and that makes the Lynx very interesting. In this video, I'm gonna review the specs of the wheel and then I'm gonna tell you what I like and don't like about this wheel and finally, I'll give you my conclusions about the Lipperkim Lynx. First, a big shout out to Jason and E-Wheels for making this video possible. Also, gentle reminder to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any new review. So what are the specs of the Lynx? It is a 20-inch tire wheel. It is equipped with Samsung 50E or 50S batteries with a capacity of 2700 watt hours. The weight of the wheel is 88 pounds, 40 kilos. The Lynx is also equipped with a high torque motor that has a capacity of 3200 watts. As a Lipperkim wheel, this electric unicycle also has a hydraulic suspension made by Fastace. The veteran Lynx is a 151 volts wheel. This is the biggest voltage for any Lipperkim EUC. Design-wise, the Lynx really looks like a bigger pattern. At the front of the wheel, you got a powerful headlight and a front handle. The top of the wheel is very flat you can also find there the typical Lipperkim display. At the back of the wheel, you have a tail light and a kickstand. You can also find a trolley handle and this one is really good. There is also a back handle and a charge port. On the sides, you have some support knobs that will help you to jump the wheel. The Lynx is also equipped with two spikes pedals and you can fold them at any angle. This electric unicycle is also equipped with a knobby tire, but more on this later. All right, let's go now with what I like about the Lipperkim Lynx. I like the design of the wheel. Every single Lipperkim wheel is beautiful and the Lynx doesn't fail in that respect. No flashy orange here. The wheel is fully black and very discreet, which is very welcome. I also like the weight of the wheel. The Lynx weights as much as the Extreme, but in reality, to me it feels lighter. It's incredible because this electric unicycle looks way bigger than a small 16-inch tire wheel. Lipperkim has been looking at new materials to build this wheel and also it has much more plastic parts than their previous models. The lights of the Lynx are also something that I really like. The front one is really powerful and you can adjust its angle. The back one is very beautiful and they have been thinking of riders when they designed it. Why is that? Basically, you can turn it off whenever you want. In my Commander Mini review, I complained about the rear light that was very powerful and you could never turn it off. Should you go inside a building or in an elevator, you would disturb everyone around you. In order to address this, Bigot told me to disconnect the rear light. That was their solution. Here with the Lynx, Veteran implemented a turn off button. Small things like this really shows that Lipperkim has been thinking of every type of rider and not just the ones that ride in remote areas. I'm really happy about it. I of course like the fastest suspension of the Lipperkim Lynx. When you go hydraulic suspension, it's impossible to go wrong. This unit has the 62 pounds version. You can also get it with 66 and 70 pounds. In my opinion, the 62 pounds version is more than enough. Somehow, it even feels stiffer than the one on a pattern for the same rating. If you don't do jumps, you should keep that in mind. The shape of the wheel is fantastic for seated riding. The top is very flat, so you don't need to install a seat. If you want something higher, you could install something, but as it is, you can directly sit, even if you're tall. The front handle really helps to transition between standing and seated. Another nice feature that Lipperkim added on the Lynx is that you can adjust the pedal softness and hardness of the wheel. It basically looks like what you can find on the V13. I didn't find that it worked well on soft mode, but for medium and hard, I think it could help. The wheel rides like a Sherman S and that's something that I like. It has a great torque, but you don't feel it from a standpoint. You have to accelerate a bit and then you're gonna feel the power of the wheel. The Lynx doesn't feel like a big one at all. It's like its own thing. It also feels different than a pattern. But to retrieve this Sherman S sensation, there are some conditions. More on this later in the video. All right, let's keep it moving with the things I don't like about the Lynx.
I don't like the pedals of the Leaper Kim Lynx. The spikes are not grippy, they remind me of the Chikwe pedals. With the wrong shoes, they can be slippery. They are also positioned very high, a bit too high for my liking. This is not a deal breaker because over time you can get used to it. It's just that if I could choose, I would rather have lower pedals, it's just my preference. Having lower pedal helps with stability, especially during strong winds. I don't like the stock tire that was delivered with the Leaper Kim Lynx. The wheel is delivered with a CST Nobby tire. Yes, you heard it well. Leper Kim decided to give up their proven and tested Kenda Nobby tire, and instead, they went with the same Nobby tire that Bigon has been putting on their wheels for the past few years. This tire is the worst thing you can put on a wheel. It will destroy the right feel of the wheel, and the Lynx is also impacted by this. The CST Nobby has a flat profile. When I was riding, the Lynx would balance left and right constantly. It was really uncomfortable. With that tire, the Lynx would also be very impacted by strong winds. I would like to explain the following. If you are a rider that prefers to ride at slow speeds, you won't be impacted by the negative effects of the CST Nobby tire. The stability issues of this tire will only happen if you decide to take advantage of the full power of the wheel and ride at higher speeds. You will also have this problem if you like to carve. I decided to install the Kenda Nobby tire, the same one you have on the Sherman S. Links. That answers the question as far as how far into a veteran Lynx you have to go. Not very far. Take off one battery cover, the handles, and uh, the top part. Pretty much good to go. After this, the Lynx became a much better wheel with a right feel much, much, much improved. Right feel wise, the wheel turned into a new Sherman S. I think that E-Wheels is gonna get a Kenda, Nobby, and Street Tire version for the batch 1 of the wheel, and for the batch 2, it will be a tubeless version of the Lynx. So you're likely not gonna have to proceed to a tire change if you get your wheel there. I honestly don't get why Lipper can put that CST tire on that wheel. I mean, I got a slight idea, this CST tire is quite cheap, but still. I also don't like some cheap shortcuts that Lipper Kim has taken on the links. After changing the tire, one day later, I got a flat. I've noticed that air was leaking next to the valve. The reason of this flat was surprising. Looks okay. like just a low quality, quality tube valve broke right there. Um, seen plenty where it breaks, you know, on the outer edge where the whole thing rips off. This is just ripping off at the very base. So air is coming out through there. Got it. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. So the top is the stock one? The top is the stock one, yeah. Got it, yeah. yeah. The so, stock one is very tight, but yeah. it's very small, basically. Right, and so when you're inflating it to this, because this is more of a three inch than a, than a 2.75. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say that that's the reason that the valve failed, but um, it de I definitely would opt for 18 by three before going to 2.75. Understood. Okay, thank you. Upon doing the tire change, we also noticed that the motor bolts were completely loose on one side of the wheel. Motor screws, they're like no effort to take off. It's gonna I don't have the know same if issue as the patent where they're gonna back themselves out and cause the oscillation. This is a 151 volts wheel, and as such, I'm expecting the best top speed you can find on any UC as of now. I understand that the top speed of this wheel is limited by Lipper Kim. I will discuss about what this wheel can do speed-wise in another video.
we discuss what I like and don't like about the Leaper Kim links, in conclusion, who is this wheel for and what do I think about it? The Lynx, in my opinion, is a fantastic wheel. It is a full package EUC and it has anything a rider would need out of the box. Leaper Kim designed a beautiful wheel, but also keeping riders in mind, they made it very functional. The suspension is the best you can get on the market and the power of the wheel is on par with today's standards. The Lynx is a great alternative to the Sherman S. It would also fit someone who is looking for something new in the 20 inch tire space. No. So what do you think? Yeah. I like it a lot. What did you like? Uh, everything. It's very smooth. Yeah, I feel like if I had this wheel, I'd ride everywhere nice and slow. So what do you think? It's real nice. It's real zippy. Smoother than the S. That's the part of it. Really? It's definitely brighter on this one. You like the stock CST? No, I don't like it. Okay. I would put like a street tire. So overall, what do you think of the wheel? It's great. 